Hey guys, welcome, welcome. I know it's been a long, um, yeah, it's been a long time actually. It's been a long, long time since I created tutorials. Since uh, in this video, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a C++ tutorial on OpenGL and how to create a window and all that stuff, and then eventually create a engine for it. I guess it's a little small one, and either I can make games with you guys so you go follow along with me or either update the a star and actually like explain a little bit better because i know back then i used to kind of suck and i kind of suck at explaining so i was letting you guys know that right now but i got in a little bit better and i understand a little more than i did back then so i don't mind doing redoing the a star and creating like a little small not really game but i would like to create you know if you haven't seen my my video of the a star where you see the tank and going around using the a star and the in the and the floor is actually you know has colors for depending on whether the path is taking i want to do that with the grid and the floor but do it in 2d and so you guys can see what's going on and everything so i don't know i'm trying to figure out what to do with this uh open gl once i finish the how to create the window and all that kind of stuff and I don't know, maybe you guys could let me know if you guys want to do a game or you want me to do the A star or you want me to do both. I don't know. Just let me know. But yeah, I know it's been a while since I did tutorial and I got in a little bit better. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of Let's Plays and it's been fun doing it. I'm still going to do it. And I hope you guys can watch it. You know, it's pretty fun, especially the scary ones like Amnesia, Amnesia and Penumbra. I hope you guys go in there and watch them because it's pretty scary and I don't know, man. But anyways, today, let's start this and we can create our own little small OpenGL engine. I know I did a DirectX, so you can see here I created an updated DirectX engine. It's a DirectX 11. And if you haven't seen my videos, I did DirectX 9 before. But this one is actually more updated now and I may do a tutorial later on, I don't know. But we'll see. But I also have OpenGL, so I kind of know what the, what I'm going write right now with this tutorial. So let's start this bad boy. And and basically, I'm using Visual Studio 2012. You don't have to use this one. You can use a regular 2009 or 10 or whatever. So just letting you know. If you actually can use some other program, then I don't know. You just got to figure that out. Don't message me telling me how to do it because I don't know. Unless it's Visual Studio, then all right. So basically, create a file new, create a new project, and we're going to do a console application. Like application. Application. Uh, I like a little bit console than this. Either way will work, but I like a little console a little bit better because when it's actually initializing before you start updating and rendering all that kind of stuff, when it's doing the initialize, uh, sometimes you want to debug it and, and you could use the C out crap. And yeah, it'll, it's, for me, it's a little bit better. So as letting you know, so I'm gonna use a console. You don't have to use it, but if if you can use a Win32 project and you have errors and I can try to help you, but I prefer you actually going along with me, but you don't have to. So I'm going to call this a op OpenGL, OpenGL project. You can name it any way you want to. I'm calling it a beast OpenGL project. I probably should have done that. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, make sure console is clicked and press OK. Click Next. Go to empty project. I like empty. It's better off to create empty, but you don't have to. It's up to you. Well, I prefer you guys following me along. So once you have this, go to your source files and add a new item. You're gonna create a C plus a CPP file, and we're gonna name it main, like every other source file will be for the main one. And I'm gonna put it in source. It's by doing this, it's going to create a source file in my OpenGL project directory. So that way I don't have to create it. It will create it for me. Yeah, I want. I like to have my stuff organized depending on the header files and source files. I like to have them separate. But if, if, you, guys, if you don't care about having it organized, then you don't have to do that. So once you have that, add it. And then we're going to create a little, the, fun, the main function that we need. Make sure you spell it right. And you can return zero. Compile it and then run it just to make sure it works. It should work and there's nothing in here. So you should have that. There's nothing in there, nothing fancy going on yet. So you just press any key to continue. 
you're gonna go in your OpenGL project, go to properties, and make sure you have it all configuration so that way you don't have to go to each one and do it. This will do it to every to, to all of them. And in the character set, you want to set it to multi-byte character set so that way you don't have to use white shards or whatever. I actually don't know the real reason. Maybe you guys know, you could let me know. But you have it that white shard. Go to debugging. There's something fancy we can. Oh, you know what? I, I, I'm gonna save that for later. Hold on. We're gonna go back in here later on. Let me see what else is in here. Da da. I know there's something. I just, oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Hold on. Okay, here in C++ and then in general. In when it says warning level, if you want to be a ninja like myself, I know a lot of you guys want to be ninjas. You want to be badass, you know. Set it to level four and treat warnings as errors and say yes. Okay, and this will be a lot better because sometimes even warnings can crash your stuff. I had that before, and it's better off not to have any warnings at all, you know. So, if you want to be a ninja, I know you guys want to. I know you want to, right? You know I want to. Um, then set it to warning level, have it at the highest right now, and treat warnings as errors. So. Continue to see go to pre compile and probably I don't even have to do this But I like to have it say not using pre compile headers and it probably already does it But might as well have it in there, you know, so then go to code pre code generation and In runtime library make sure you have the multi threaded set It tells you what it does Right here specify runtime library for linking and it has different ones This is for debug for DLLs and all that stuff or this one's DLL I don't know what's the difference. Which I know there's a difference. There's one that you actually you don't have to have DLLs in there. I don't. I'm not gonna tell you what it does. Maybe somebody else can answer that. Can answer that question for you guys. So I'm not, I don't know the actual answer for it. So, anyways, just follow what I have to do. Okay, please. Por favor. Um, I guess that's about it. We have to come back here eventually again. So once you uh, do that, apply and go OK. And make sure, compile it again just to make sure it works. You know, probably it should work anyways. But just in case, and run it again. And you should have this again. So once you have that, now what you want to do, you want to open your OpenGL project folder. The project folder. I, guess, I probably should have named it differently. But open it up. Um. In the in my description, if I find it, hold oh, them, hold on, hold on, give me a second. I deleted it by accident. I messed up right now. I deleted a folder I needed. There we go, found it. Okay. Anyways, back on time. I probably should, I'm gonna cut that out anyway. So anyways, um, once you have this open the project folder, you can drag this folder. I'm gonna have the link in the description where to get this folder. So it will contain all the glue extensions and all that stuff that we can need. So once you go in there, grab the DLL project, the DLL in the the bin folder. You're gonna copy it and then go to your OpenGL root directory where all the BCX projects are. You can copy paste it in there. Oh no, wait, you actually don't need that anymore. Never mind. I fixed it earlier. This is like my third take on this. And I fixed it earlier. Actually, don't remind. Forget what I said. I lied to you. I apologize. Once you have that, go back to your project. Go to your properties, and we can include all the stuff in there. So go to here, BC plus 